Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here and welcome to part 7 of the Floralia Cal designed by Emma from Pippin Poppycock. Okay, so do make sure you go and download the PDF for this part, but we are going to be working from here all the way out and creating this lovely soft mesh panel. It is um, very, very simple. It is quite repetitive. It is quite easy to get lost. So do make sure that you follow the little hints and tips that I give you through this short video. Enjoy. Okay, so remember you should have two stitch markers in each group of four single crochet that you've got in the corner. You should have markers in the back loop of the second and third stitches. Okay, that is going to help you with where your corners are going to go on the next round, round 61. Okay, so, but this round, round 60, <coughs> done this before we're going to work in the front loops only making slip stitches all the way around so remember as before if you have like almost no tension it will be fine if you do need to go up a hook size then do but you're going to start in the front loop of the third single crochet so that's where your second marker is okay and then we are literally just going to slip stitch in the front loop of every stitch all the way around okay so this is giving us some continuity with the pattern where we've got rows of slip stitches that show on the surface and then if we come back into our main square we've got them here and we've got them here okay so it's just giving us the continuity in the pattern all the way through okay so just carry on slip stitch in the front loop of every stitch all the way around keeping your tension nice and loose okay if you go too tight it's going to make your blanket pull and sort of pucker and ripple so keep it nice and loose all the way around and then once you get back and you make your last front loop slip stitch where that first marker is, join to this one, leave your ends on the front for a moment because it will be easier once you've made the next round to then take your ends through to the back. Okay? Okay, round 61. We're going to work in the free back loops behind the slip stitches. So if you did go up to a larger hook, make sure you come back down to your normal size and we're going to start in the second back loop which is our first marked stitch okay and again try to pick up the third loop okay so that you get a little bit more stability so back loop single, oops, let me end in there. Back loop single in the first marked stitch, chain three. Back loop, did I do four then? Two, yeah, whoops. Okay. Chain three and then back loop single in the second take the stitch marker out so we can see what we're doing in the second so 
sometimes you have to just give it a little bit of a wiggle in order to find that there we go that third loop okay and then um, back loop single crochet in each stitch to the next marker okay so I would suggest that you use some stitch markers because you're going to have 172 in total okay so you've got two in your corners so it's 170 you're going to make so I would suggest use a stitch marker say every 20 stitches or so just so that you that's just to help you count really just so that you make sure that you get exactly the right number of stitches okay because it is going to be important that you get those stitches correct okay and you'll find once you get past the corner it becomes a little bit easier just picking up that back loop and third loop together okay so carry on like that sorry the lights suddenly in the window here um, carry on like that all the way round single cro back loop single crochet in the first marker chain three back loop single in the second marker then 170 as you work along the side all the way round um, and then join to your first single crochet there with a slip stitch because we are carrying on the next few rounds in the same colour okay okay moving on to round 62 we're going to slip stitch into the chain corner space, chain three corner space, and chain one. And then in each corner space, we are going to single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. Now pop a marker in that first single crochet because the next few rounds are fairly similar and it's very easy to get carried away and just keep going round and round and round and round okay but you want to make sure that you do join to the first stitch each time so pop a marker in that first stitch in the corner Okay, and then we are going to chain two, skip two, one, two, single crochet in the next. We're then going to chain two and skip one stitch okay single crochet chain two skip one single crochet okay so the only place you're going to skip two is right at the beginning of the round after the corner so your corners made into the chain space are single crochet chain three single crochet you're then going to chain two and skip two, single crochet in the next stitch, and then your repeat all the way across is to chain two and skip one stitch. Okay, one, two, skip one, single. One, two, skip one, single. Okay, carry on like that all the way round. And 
once you get back to the beginning you are going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch okay okay in round 63 we're only going to be working in the chain spaces and again keep as we do these next few rounds keep moving that stitch marker for your first single crochet up each time okay so we are going to start by slip stitching into the chain 3 space okay and chain 1 single crochet chain 3 and single crochet okay stitch marker in okay so each of our corners single crochet chain three single crochet and then we're going to chain two and single crochet in the next chain two space now you've got quite a few rounds to do with the same pattern repeat okay it's very very simple and easy repeat but what I suggest you do is just make a note on a piece of paper so that as you do each round just cross it off because otherwise you've got to keep counting back trying to work out where you are it might be difficult so just a little note will help you to keep track of where you are because this round round 63 we are going to repeat one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen times okay So very, very simple repeat and basically we are just going to be forming some very sort of light mesh rounds, almost a little bit like a honeycomb as we move forward. On the uh, PDF it tells you how many chain two spaces, how many um, single crochet you're going to have each side as you go round. But as I say, do make sure that you just keep using that stitch marker as you move up each round because it does make it easier to count. Okay, I am going to come back at the beginning of the next round um, but then really once you're set, you're set with this, okay? So you don't really need me to keep showing you exactly the same thing 12 times. Okay, so carry on all the way around like that. Your corner, single, chain three, single. And then it's chain two, single in the next chain two space all the way around till you get back to here and join to that single crochet with a slip okay, that's stitch. That's round 63, oops, completed. <clears throat> so what you're going to do now is you are going to repeat round 63, another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 times. Okay, so you will have a total up to round 79 okay on round 79 you're going to have a total of 103 chain 2 spaces and 104 single crochet on each side okay so each time just slip stitch into the corner chain 1 and single crochet Pop your marker in that stitch, 
so that you know that is the beginning slash end of each round and then you're going to chain three and single crochet in that same corner chain two and single crochet in the next chain two space okay so as I said I really don't need to show you this 17 times or whatever um, so just keep going keep working in exactly the same way and as I say if you do yourself a little list I've crossed off I've done round 63 finished that one so I've crossed it off if you just do that it will help you to keep track and make sure that you do have the correct number of rows because after this it is going to be important that your stitch counts are correct okay so I will come back to you at round 80 okay so before we move on to round 80 double check that you have got the right number of rows I actually left that stitch marker in round what was it 63 so I could keep double checking even though I was ticking them off on my piece of paper and double check that you have got 103 chain 2 spaces and 104 single crochet on each side with a chain 3 corner space as well okay so moving on to round 80 take that stitch marker out now we are going to slip stitch into our chain two corner space but I'm going to pop my stitch marker back into that last single crochet of the side there let me just zoom in a bit so you can see a little bit better okay so that's going to be the last single crochet that I'm going to work into on that last side. Okay, so we're going to chain one and then we're going to make two half double crochets into the chain three corner space. Okay, now I would recommend that you pop a stitch marker in the back loop because you're going to need to do it for the next round anyway into the back loop of those two stitches that you've just made into the corner okay so a stitch marker in each of those two half double crochets that you've made in the corner space and you are then going to half double crochet in each stitch so it's in each single crochet and in each chain two space okay only one half double crochet in each chain two space so where it may have looked as if your work was getting a bit frilly this will actually pull everything back together and make it all nice and square again. Let's just do a couple more. Okay, so you're just going to work along like that, putting a half double crochet into each single and into each chain two space. So when you are done, you will have 209 half double crochet on each side. Okay, that includes the two that you've got in the corners because that's part of that side and that's part of this side. Okay, so go ahead and do that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch but do not fasten off. Okay, so just put an extra stitch marker in there or something. Um, because you need to keep everything together because you are going to be using the same colour 
for the first couple of rounds of part eight. Okay, so this finishes up part seven. So just all of those half double crochets all the way around and I will see you next time for the final part.